Now I'm going to click on background again here. Now I need to select the sky here because it's going to be the easiest to select. Much easier than trying to select this whole land mass. This is all basically a similar color. What we're going to use is the magic wand tool. So the one, two, three, fourth tool set down, magic wand. I'm just going to click on that. And what I'm going to do, let me raise the tolerance a little bit. In Photoshop, the default on the tolerance is 32. So maybe we'll bump it up a little bit, right around 30-ish. Or you can just click and type in 32, then hit tab. Get that. Now here, I'm going to click on Unite. Every time I click, it's going to add to the selection. So I'll start by just clicking over here. And I grab that. Clicking there, it's getting a lot more of it. Click again. Got all of that there. And click there and maybe one more time there. Now the whole sky is selected. What I'm going to do is I'm going to expand this a little bit so it'll get rid of any problems we have along the edge. Because it's a selection, it's in the select menu. Modify, I'm going to expand. I'm just going to do a two pixel expansion on that and hit OK. And it makes it two pixels bigger, larger, more expanded. All right, so now I need to inverse it because I want the mountains to be selected. I go to select again, inverse. That will select this whole ground area. All right, let's go and refine the selection. You click right here to refine selection. It brings up this huge dialog box. Let's see, so I'm looking over here and the selection actually looks pretty darn good. Okay, see so we did that expansion on it and that tightened it up along the edge. So it looks pretty good. Now here, new layer, I'm gonna change that to raster mask because that's gonna add a mask to the layer. That's what we want. Okay, so now I just hit okay. Okay, so, wow, that looks pretty darn good. Pretty good. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make one more adjustment on the mask. Because usually when you're adding a sky, a real sharp edge, it looks less real. So what you need to do, double click on the mask. It brings up the properties of the mask and the feather right here. So we can just select that and type in one because we'll do a one pixel feather. Type in one and then press the tab key. So it's softened the edge a tiny bit and that'll be good. Now click there to get rid of that. Okay, this all looks pretty good. What I'm gonna do now is select the sunset picture. Just gonna click on that sunset layer. And get the move tool right up here. And now I can move it around and kind of get it where I want it to be. Like that's looking pretty good. Let's see, maybe a little bit lower like that. A little lower like that. All right. See, I have the transform controls showing. That's why you can see them. If I turn that off, then they go away. All right, so this is looking pretty good so far. Now, click on the top layer again, which is the ground layer. Click on that, and we're gonna add a photo filter, which will help match up the tonalities. These are pretty close because the sunset, uh, this was a little earlier in the day in sunset, but we'll match that up. So right here, this little yin yang looking thing here, the half and half, click on there, that's an adjustment layer. And what you're gonna do, what you're gonna do, what you're gonna do when they come for you. Oh, sorry, different thing. Photo filter, I'm gonna add that on there. Okay, and orange and super high density <laughs> is kind of the default for it. So we can lower that down a little bit. Let's see. You know what I actually might need to do here is maybe need to darken the ground a little bit. Okay. 
Okay, maybe I'll just do that. If you need to change the color right there, you can change it and just select a different color and use that. Okay. I'm going to click there. And then what I'm going to do, this is a trick. This is not in the directions. It's a secret. Okay. I want this selection to be loaded up. So if I hold command or control and click on this mask, it loads that selection. See now the little dots are there. Okay, because I want the darkness to apply just to that layer and just to these. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do is right here, go to the adjustment layer again. These are what's called non-destructive, so they don't hurt anything. And I'm going to go to a levels. All right. Click on that. I'm going to first try the center. This is the highlights, but that's going to make it too bright. This is the mid-tones here. So move to the right. That's that way. It darkens it just a little bit, and I think that's going to do the trick. Maybe a little bit like that. Okay. Okay, now I want to deselect this. That looks fine. So now select, deselect. Okay. That new sky is not looking too bad. Now we can go ahead and put the text on there. And I'm going to put the text underneath the photo filter layer. So I just click on this levels adjustment because it always adds a new layer above it. So here I'm going to click on the text tool, the type tool, and this font will be fine. And I'll put it over here, it's about the same brightness. So I'll click on there and maybe make sort of a light orange, kind of matches that a little bit, maybe make it a little brighter. Click OK. Now I just click once and type in replace sky and then I'm gonna the text is really big right now it's crazy big replace sky and digital imaging and one more and then I'm gonna put my name so I'll hit this checkbox right here ah checkbox replace sky digital all right so now I need to edit the text. So I'm going to go to the character panel. All right, click on that. And I have the, the type layer selected. So now I just can make the text a little bit bigger. That looks plenty big. It's about the same distance from the edge as it is from the bottom there. The color's not knocking me out. Maybe I'll go and just try this color. Ooh, that looks a little sassier. Maybe you want to make it a little bit brighter? Yeah, that's a better color. Kind of, and it goes with that. And I'm clicking here to adjust the brightness so it'll be easy to read. I hit OK. And it is done. I hit Command S or Control S. We'll save it. OK. Comes up here. I want to save the file to save it into the downloads folder. But what I want you to turn in is a screenshot of the interface here. Okay, now on Chromebooks, Control Shift and the Windows key, Shift Command 4 on Mac, click, hold, and drag over the place you want to take the picture of and let go. Now it creates that screenshot on Chromebooks and Windows. I believe it puts it into the Downloads folder. On Mac, it puts it on the desktop. There it is. So now I just right click on there. I want to rename it. There it is. Same thing on Chromebooks and on Windows. Now it's going to be named MAW underscore RS for Replace Sky underscore your last name. Definitely leave the PNG or JPEG on there. 
and just click off of that. And now you just turn it in like you would any of your assignments. View assignment, and then turn that little rascal in. So that's how you do the Replace Sky project. And these are step-by-step -step instructions, and it does all the things we just did. So now ours looks pretty much like this screenshot here. All right, you guys have a great day and have fun with this. You can start and stop this and take it at your own pace. All right, take care. Bye-bye.